Gunhand C. A method for tying two-handed surgical knots. Hello and welcome to our video surgical. about knot tying. I'm Dr. Alan Chamberlain. And I'm Emily Seidler. Now this video is for medical students or even residents to learn surgical knot tying. And in this video we're going to start with two-handed knot tying. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're um, a medical student in your third or fourth year on your clerkship, you're often in the OR, mostly observing or maybe retracting, and sort of your one shining moment is to do a few sutures and maybe tie some knots. So when everyone stops and is just watching you, waiting for you to perform, you might think you know how to do some surgical knots, but then you just freeze up. Well, we think we've come up with a solution to that problem. We're gonna teach you a method where you have a set of hand movements with names and a little script that ties them together that you can play in your mind. Emily is going to go through a simple setup for surgical knot tying, show you the technique and the script, and then I'm going to come back and give you a few tips for making the technique work especially well in the operating room. Let's get started. The technique we developed to remember two-handed surgical knot tying is called gun hand C. So I'm just going to go through the motions first and explain each one and how to do them before using the sutures. So first, you want to make a gun hand. You're going to be holding the suture here, so it looks like this, just like if you were pretending to hold a gun. Gun hand, and then C, and it's like this, a very rounded C, and not like that you want to make sure it's a big rounded C. Next is going to be tips. And when we say tips, it's not just meeting your fingertips, but that you actually are meeting them at the tip of your finger and not like that. You want to make sure to be very precise with your hand movements so that when you're not using rope, you're using actual sutures, you can be very precise. So it's gun hand, C, tips, and then to the sky, you're going to flip and then replace and this will make sense more with the suture and again keep with your tips and then up and pull through and again those last ones will make a lot more sense with the sutures but you just want to get the feel of how your hand should move and it's important that with this thicker rope you can see exactly what a square knot looks like know that you're doing it right and then practice those hand movements so you can reproduce that in the OR with sutures and know that you're definitely getting a secure square knot so let's get started with uh, the two-handed knot tie you're going to have your needle driver secured on the left sort of the farthest from you and then in your right hand closest to you is the free end that if you see right here this is open and I'm crossing it over on top see that so I'm crossing it on top into my right hand needle driver in my left hand okay so gun hand C now you may wonder why the gun hand and that's so that you make sure to start with your needle driver end in the right hand position. So it's these three fingers, it's going over across your palm with your first finger and your thumb free. So it's gun hand, C, and now cross it under so that it's at the base of your thumb so you're not gonna lose it. If it's at the tip, it could easily slide off. Base of your thumb. X on thumb, tips, to the sky and now replace and pull through to the sky and you're going to use your right hand now to assist you and vertically just sort of follow it down through all the way to the base. Okay now your second throw is going to be what's going to make that square knot. So it's almost the same except you're going to use your first finger rather than your thumb. Gun hand, C, finger, X on finger, tips, to the sky, replace, pull through to the sky. And now this really emphasizes that you're going to really pull through as much as you can. You don't want to just be here and possibly lose the end or not really be able to pull it through. You want to assist by pulling through as much as you can and then your right hand is just right there to catch it. Now you're going to do the opposite way, 
vertically again, following through, but this time my right hand is on top and my left hand on the bottom. And that's what's going to make that square knot. Let's review. Gun hand, C, scoop up suture with thumb, go down the middle, make an X, pinch your fingertips together, pass them through to the sky, replace the suture, then back through, grasp, and pull through and down. Now I'd like to give you some tips. The first step is your general body posture. You want to be erect and upright, but you need to have relaxed shoulders, relaxed lower back and gluteal area. Your energy consumption is much less in this posture, and it will keep you from bending over and obstructing your partner's view of the surgical field. The next tip I'd like to review with you is the importance of setting your hands up at the right distance. In addition to the gun hand allowing you good control of the suture coming up from the driver into your fingers, it also allows you to be at about an inch from your knot as you set up. This will help you have the right amount of suture in your hand to be able to tie comfortably. The next tip I'd like to review with you is the importance of keeping the first part of the knot open. You may have noticed that Emily had you start with the free end over and she instructed you to start with your thumb. See how that keeps this end open? If you had started with your finger, the knot would have been crossed up in here and that's wrong. However, if the suture end should happen to be under, you will have to use your finger to put the knot down flat. So let's try it again. Gun hand, C, thumb, make an X, pinch with your tips to the sky, replace, back through to the sky and pull through and really follow that knot down to the base so it's secure. Now again, gun hand, C, finger, X on your finger, tips to the sky, replace and back through to the sky and this is so important that you're not just coming here, you're really following that through so you're not going to lose this end and it's just giving it to your other hand easily. And now you always want to go vertically to follow it and you can see that square knot a little better. We wish you the best of luck with your surgical training. Please contact us if we can be of any help in the future.